Who's there? A friend of the temple. Fluarak. The council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope. The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masia, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save what our order. What must I do? Go to the tree. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, Go! I know.
Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD 16, B 13, I 87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Just you wait till the guards get here. Quickly, quickly! <laughs> Not the likes of you. Put that away now.
faces when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Hurry up. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of Elise. the criminals, Father? we should all be called Come parents. here, girls, now. Father? Card, so you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Ooh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. Ah! I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. On guard, Victor. Sorry. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. Like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Over there! Keeping up? Shall I call a break?
And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort, won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Make way, make way! Please excuse, wrong carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view.
There you are. Back of the line. Back at the line. Voilà tout. Du coup, bien remettons la traction à chaque C'est peut-être mieux ainsi. Voilà qui est... Toutes les têtes sont effacées, la mienne comme la vôtre. Et si nous nous interposons, ce sera la prison. Sinon, pire, qui sait de quoi ils sont capables Je trouve votre familiarité gênante. Citoyen. de ces assemblées je n'ai pas balancé à rétablir un usage dont le royaume 
peut tirer une nouvelle force et qui peut ouvrir à la nation de nouvelles sources de bonheur. C'est encore accru sous mon règne. Finally. Une guerre dispendieuse, mais honorable, en a été la estate. cause. L'augmentation des impôts en a été la suite nécessaire oh, et a rendu plus sensible une calme perception. <rire> une inquiétude générale. Un désir exagéré d'innovation se sont emparés des esprits et finiraient par égarer totalement les opinions si on ne se hâtait de les fixer par une réunion d'habitage des modérés. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not. Get him, Yuko! Easy, big fella. Thank you, good fella. Let's see. You can't take us both at once. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health. Gentlemen, you boy, so what are you doing there? Uh, running. Get away. Mercy. I'll slow you fly. Listen. You're going nowhere. No getting back in there now. Catch them back at home, I suppose.
Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Senor de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. Les tragiques. Too depressing. Mémoire de Monsieur d'Artagnan. Elise's favorite. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Arno. Oh, Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite.
shift change yet. Look at that one. Pretty sure his shoes cost more than my rent. if I do. What? Certainly not. Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. You, come here. I'll see you in the garden later, yes? Of course. Evening. I can't remember the last time we were all together like this. It must have been that business with, um... And I would thank you not to speak of that. Madam. M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentilhomme? Merci. Un autre jour. She always did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Father's suit. <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? <laughs> Don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Who's there? Who's Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out. It's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Oh, my. That was at the billiard room at all, was it? We are pursuing an interloper, Mademoiselle de la <laughs> Waste of time. There's nobody out here. Who's even going to come out here? 
Ten to one, I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. Who would buy such a thing? You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. Sivir, come away. Guards, help. Murder. Killed Lord de la Serre. Omnis divisa in partes tres. They're killing us! Oh, God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate! <laughs> Staring at piss pot. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. Where'd you come by this, piss pot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. Yeah. 
Well struck, piss bug. See if your defense is as good. So much effort for a broken antique. Ah! The only broken antique of yours is wrapping his idiot Let's jaw. Go. Say that again. I have nothing more to say, old man. Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? Bees here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss boy. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. In what? 76? 77? December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open, opportunity might just come knocking so. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners. Follow the lead. Before the guards come. Hey! No more whimpering! Prisoners up against the wall. On whose authority? I told you this was going to end badly. Silence! Stay back! Hello? 
Jack, is the door open? Not quite. We have a problem. Find a solution. Lovely. No, no, no need to rush on my account. Belek. By all means, take your time. Let's go, piss pot! Thinking. Why doesn't he fire? There's no escape in Tuesday! God! If they breach the inner car, you're mine! We're done for. Quickly! While the crowd has him occupied! Time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up there! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! You can pluck your head out of your own arse. Come find us. You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot! You! Back away from the ledge! Some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arno. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin, me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that... A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. 
Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. I know, Pin. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. What is this supposed to mean? I suppose a simple address would be too mundane.
Perhaps the sunbeam. What's the light supposed to illuminate? Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? A sanctuary. A place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. From these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city, all without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, Pisspot. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. Well, it was quite the entrance. Are you mocking me? No, no. God's truth, very theatrical. Shut up. We're here. The candidate. So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come. What changed your mind? I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. Inna the Nubahu tukkilu kailai. Hal anta muta akidon min? Anna kathalik. Inna hu kadnira ala muajati el muhakama. Seikun nu jaidan. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. 
Are you prepared to travel the Eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then drink.
These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a media file from Dergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play. Sit back and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, Precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. 
If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. What's the mission? Mission? Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the weapon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. 
Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I... Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivet still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre! Patience. Sivet is not the target. Not today. Come on. Counts is waiting for... Give him a smoke bomb! How many made a big mistake trying to outrun this box? Got ya! And now for the fun bit! Time to go! fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanags. Can't save everyone, Pisspot. Well, there's a cheery thought. Body in a courtyard not far from here. Stab through the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to strain your heart. Careful, Pispo. You'll hurt someone. Just trying not to strain your heart.
Careful, pistol. You'll hurt someone. You call that a run? I can't believe this. We've not seen C there for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. And if we... Ah, Anna. So what... happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. Proceeds to do nothing with it. What cheer, you don't seem terribly fond of him. He's a politician. Sees himself as a great peacemaker. He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars, bring the revolution to a happy conclusion, and convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. And that's bad? It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. The Templars are at their weakest since Jacques de Malay burned. We're running around after second rate. Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. He has a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boy's ready. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. Citizen? Here, brother.
What's our plan? Our plan? You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. So study your surroundings. Devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. No targets unreachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell was Ducheneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Sibert, I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best. Assassin. Superstition. Here, See that we're not disturbed. Who's in there? Monsieur Latouche. I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. The intrigues of rats! Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. Well, what's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? <laughs> You're all right, monsieur. Uh, Too much of the king's champagne. Sibir, come away!
you read? What the hell is that? I'm here, Bishop. That's a server suite. Observer's looking for you. And they're close. Damn it. Can you open a server bridge? Hey, come on, it's me. Already on it. Couple of seconds. Initiate. We're opening a server bridge. Find the portal and pass through before the suite finds you. Got it, go. Do you see it? They're hard to miss. Jumping from one Helix server to another should buy you a few more hours. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Well, we're not screwed. It's your initiate that gets the brunt. Deacon, you're not helping. There it is. Go! Signal's holding. Good. You're waiting outside the main simulation now. This will throw Abstergo off your trail for a while, but you'll also run into a lot of incomplete and corrupted code. Which probably explains why the people here aren't quite here. Hmm. Looks like the late 1800s. Now this is a Paris I wouldn't mind visiting. Maybe another time. Right now, you need to get to the exit portal. I can't see a path through, though. See if you can find a route underground. You know, the Belle Epoque looks a lot cleaner than Revolutionary Paris. Don't you think? Fear of beheadings, too, I bet. That's it. I'm reading a route through... The metro station ahead. Oh shit, this area is becoming unstable. telling how it will disrupt the simulation.
looks like you'll have to climb Lady Liberty. She must have bled through from another time period. The French should have shipped her off to the States by now. fortunate their first time through a bridge. Sometimes our initiates are trapped in the system and we have no choice but to send someone like you in to rescue them. In fact, one of our initiates is caught in a Bellapox server right now. If you're not too exhausted, you can re-enter the bridge and rescue him. All right, back to work, initiate. Oh no, hello. Thank you. 
Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling him the penitent. I take it justice has been done? Not entirely. Siver had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de la Serre's murder. He struck the killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tsunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Siver met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand, then? The Phantom Blade. A modest little update from the traditional Assassin's Blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then. Assassin, this council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Thunes. Learn his secrets and bring him peace. All right, my friend. Brother?
Tout est bon pour se faire remarquer. La durée qui se fait. C'est distrayant. On dirait que ça s'agite là-bas. Il n'y en aura pas pour Il y a de l'animation là-bas. Livraison à faire, moi. Sûrement évadé d'un asile.
That's strange. Where is he? Down, bugger it. Oh. Not dreaming. Bloody
parie qu'il va se rompre le coup. Il s'est passé doucement. Ma parole, j'aurais pu. Visiblement, je me suis. the worst posted. Well, he was in the colonies a few years ago. Now that was ugly. Just keep one hand in your purse and you'll be fine. Halt! Halt, you damn mother! des Thunes, Lieutenant, la touche.
lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. No one de tunes in that bit of trivia an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time, now, Arno. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse François, Marquis de Sade. Do pay me a visit when you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Nights are getting cold again. I know where the chimney's at. Watch it. The ones his grace had put in when he took over down below. You kid it Closer. Don't touch me. Get back. Eh bien, qu'est-ce que vous préparez? Monsieur Latouche, still bringing medical care to the disenfranchised? Your dying community. Rather sooner than you think, I'm sure. See a drink, Baker. Do I know you? Is it true what he did to Thierry? I remember the man's screams and how long they lasted. And that was for an accounting error. You're joking. I thought he'd skimmed off the take or some such. No, nope. he misplaced a one in a ledger. Right. Double time it is.
Get him inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside! Horribly burned in a fire that killed his family. A burn job? Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning off the district to ash? Use a few drops of the strong acid. Layman can't tell the difference. Something I can help you with? What is this place? It connects to the sanctuary. Less flashy than the Saint Chapelle entrance, but we own the building. Used to be part of our intelligence network. But the place has fallen on hard times. How can I help? I'll keep an ear out for any opportunities that come up. You might also speak to the intendant about renovating the building itself. I'm not exactly flush with coin just now. Any revenues the cafe generates are yours to do with as you see fit. The money is deposited in the chest in the study, and the more improvements you make... The more revenue. Quite. You might also find that expanding our reach into other districts will pay dividends. Merci. Nicely. You knew this was going to be Greetings, citizen. Thank you. 
You look terrible. For months, I have been wrangling the Brotherhood, the National Assembly, and the King. Taken all together, they have the political acumen of an especially stupid village council. I believe that excuses my appearance, young man. I meant no disrespect, Mentor. I am only concerned. Forget me, Arno. Weep for France. But enough politics. I hope you have happier news. What of Lord de Lassaire's murderers? The King of Beggars is dead. He was carrying this. Oppose on pay. You should keep it. It'll do no one any good moldering in a forgotten crypt. Carry it with honor. Thank you. I will. The mission. The King of Beggars and Sivert were only pawns in a larger game. Someone sent them after Monsieur de la Serre. Templars do nothing simply, do they? Do you have anything solid on this mysterious chess player? The only lead I have is the instrument that killed de la Serre. A pin fashioned by a silversmith named Germain. But how he's involved, I can't yet say. It seems your course is clear. Find the silversmith, learn what party plays. Ah, my friend. Hello. Word, brother?
Well, that's not suspicious, is it? Did he make a sharp turn somewhere? Germain, the silversmith. Thank God. They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. First, I need to know about this. You've no time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. But we must leave before the guards return. Fine, let's go. No! They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me, then, and stay quiet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Keep moving. What the devil's that's all? Wait. What was that? Gone, is he? I'll get you right in. Hold a moment. Follow me. We keep one eye to the roofs. The Elfin post sentries there as well. Just how important are you as a prisoner? Need to do anything foolish, let the silversmith go. Stay back. I'll be good. What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Yes, of course. my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I made the first some years ago on a private contract a man called Lafreniere. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into Lafreniere's background and what I discovered I wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I, I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and the funny I found out about my schemes. Kept me under house arrest ever since. I do as he bids. Weapons, mostly. Where can I find him? Well, the funny is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago. I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Alloblay. Sounded ominous, whatever he meant. Let I ask, why are you so interested in him? He killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. 
They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. All right, Lafreniere, where are you hiding? All this we could take on an army. I'd like to see them try and stop us. Oh. 
Where are we supposed to put all these? That is a distressingly large number of guns. La Fenière must be planning something big. Bloody ghost. Right. Let's get back. Whatever he's planning, it's big. And now I know where to find you, Grandmaster. It hardly seems safe just to leave these lying around. Non 
de Dieu The powder stores, they're going to blow No, of course it can't be that easy, can it? Maybe I should stop this through. Plain sight, right. Force before the master arrives. We'll post snipers on the roofs. The instructions are all here. Get to it. Think we should go with them? The master's elite bodyguards? 
I think they can handle it. Suppose you're right. I'd better find myself a place to wait before the rest of them arrive. going on. A few of the groundskeepers heard more than they should. They're hiding in the cabin. Try so the master's bodyguards caught. have to dig them out. Seems excessive. The masters are fighting back. Dug in like ticks. They'd best be dead by the time the master arrives. I don't want him vulnerable. Target comes to me. Stop you. The truth is in peril, my brothers. She is beset on all quarters. Jacobins lay her on the rack, cruelly breaking her to their populist agenda. False prophets go among the people, promising liberty, equality, return... Thwarted us for the last time. What you say, Master?
is a good man, an honest man. Mirabeau is a self-aggrandizing drunk. Do not forget who is Grand Master here, Lafreniere. Take this to Grand Master de la Serre immediately. Deliver it to him in person. Yes, Master. Master, we have a problem. Christophe has been feeding information to our enemies. We must assume this location is compromised. We'll have to move up our timetable. Gather the men. We strike Hotel de Beauvais tonight. Hold it! The word citizen! Where did he? Bishop here. You're in good shape so far. I'd like to give you a little boost. We've made a major breakthrough on our side. Through deep data analysis, we've discovered that the sage we're looking for was a Templar Grandmaster, the same man Arnaud was hunting. It doesn't get much better than that. There, everything's been updated. Use them wisely. We'll be in touch. Listen to me. I said I 
Put all the money you've got. Pay ya! A word, brother? Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. Unthinkable. What the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you start at the council, I'll we'll bring you, you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh, go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor. Godspeed. Here, brother.
This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? If you're smart, you'll let it lie. What's that supposed to mean? Just that some folk don't like people prying into their affairs. Savvy? Tyranny invented the crime of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic. Who could have dared to think that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime? When fanaticism, or a monstrous union between ignorance and despotism invented in its turn the crime of sacrilege, and it conceived in its delirium the project of avenging God himself. Was it that they offer him blood and bring him down to their level, the monsters who said they were his image. The death penalty is necessary, say the puffs of ancient and barbarous routine. Without it, there is no break strong enough for crime. How much longer must we wait? I do have other business to tend to. A, a little bit longer. The Grand Master wants the politicals thinned out before we begin. I trust we'll finally learn the meaning behind our recent activities. All will be made clear. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. And let's not forget, Lafreniere is still out there somewhere waiting to burn us all at the stake. Oh, you yeah, haven't heard yet, then. For what? Well, I've strike the citizen in so many sensitive places and in so <laughs> many ways. Why would he refuse himself <gasps> to employing the dead members? Members? Punishments are not imposed to torment the person, but in order to prevent crime by the fear of incurring it has been observed that in three countries crime is more rare and people
penal laws more oh, gentle, efficient, and more stark. All ideas hold together. Free countries are those where the rights of man are respected and where, consequently, the laws are just. Where they offend man by an rigged. This is a proof that the dignity of man is not known. can go on like this all day. But you, you've got an hour left in you, two at the most, half if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. You heard the weasel boys? Not your lucky day. Still not like you're alone, baby. Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Slop. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. Late back. The Grandmaster won't be happy of the whole. Laid back. The Grandmaster will be happy if the whole clan comes unraveled because I want dead peon. Patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and Loire already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sir brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Sir will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be oh. counter revolutionary. The spy's still here. I'm right here, sunshine. Find the spy. Don't let the spy escape. I'll bring the first. Stop this running nonsense. You're done oh. for. Slow. Might as well stand. Clever, Grandma. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. The spy's still here! 
Catch him! Watch the exit. The spy will be making a run for it. Excellent moyen de Je ne sais pas trop quoi en penser. Was it? Hotel voisin? Merde.
What's going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go. So, I'll explain later. Get her! Cut them off! Kill her! Il va se faire mal. No way past this one. Shall we? Let's. Again. I'll climb up and take a look. <sighs> Any bright ideas? Two of them up ahead. I'll get you right in. What now? Two more really horses need to pass. We'll have to work together. Take them out quietly. He's in a young woman. I think that was all of them. We're clear. There's a bigger group coming up though. Two of them up ahead. You take that one. I'll handle his friend. What now? Too many of them just have passed. We'll have to work together. Take them out quietly. Oh! Have you seen a young woman? I think there was a woman. We're clear. There's a bigger group coming up, though. I see them. Perhaps you can get a better angle from the roof. Where are you going? So you. 
yourself! Need a change of bridges! Let's get out of here. They can't have gone far. Find them! Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Café Théâtre. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. Maybe a little late. Thank <laughs> you. 
once again, good evening. Uh, with me, as always, is Madame Leclerc, and tonight we'd like to speak to you about capital punishment. So, I believe you have some so, feelings on this matter. Seems you've been busy. I believe it to be the tracking down the man who killed your father. Yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? What I'm saying, or rather, that when? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Yes, yes, that is precisely the alternative. For every hundred who mount the guillotine guilty of sin, how many innocents die as well? Do you trust me? Or angering the wrong magistrate, or of the very I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that bloody Templar? What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell have you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasserre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasserre. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. This is a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will Greetings, talk them around. Everything all right, my friend. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? This luck can't last forever. Francois Germain believed Lafreniere was... Francois Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Elise? Hi, my friend. How are you? Oh. Uh, where are you going? doing slow down
that about? Honor. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Please. Don't tell me. It's a trap. This is my patriot. Look who it is. Or kill them. was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau. As soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down! You see them? The windows, across the street. Watch out!
of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arno. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. Elise? Monsieur Mirabeau? Elise? Elise? What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the Council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened.
What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. You saw no one else when you arrived. Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was here before you. Did you see any other servants? No. No one else. A handkerchief. A lady's handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kamar. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course, but I do know of an apothecary in Le Marais who is willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. You are well, citizen?
drôle si entendu. I wonder Shit. if you might end. Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! Slow down! Wait! Just have a few questions. What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for?
What do you hope to find here? This is where the apothecary says he delivered the poison. I'm hoping I can pick up a trail and follow it back to the source. Pick up a trail? Are you a bloodhound now? Something like that. trail ends here. Are you sure? I'm sure. No. Wait here. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not letting you go in there alone. Elise. I have to do this myself. Please. I understand. You'd better come back to me. Be careful.
Took you long enough, piss pot. Balak? Should have known it'd be you that find me. Only question is, what happens now? You poisoned Mirabeau. He poisoned us! Peace with the Templars is a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? The first time that the Assassins have been forced to purge their leadership? The first time that the Order has built itself back up from nothing to power? No. Masyaf, Monteregioni, the American colonies. It's all happened before. And we have risen anew, stronger than ever. But now, we've lost our purpose, Arno. We mired ourselves in politics and revolutions, but we're not a nation. We're an army. And in an army, making peace with the enemy is called treason. No, I'm not the only one that can save the Brotherhood. We can. Together. Alec. You know I can't do that. That's a pity. <laughs> Belek, please, come back to the council with me. We can resolve this like reasonable men. Reasonable men don't treat with Templars, boy. Get up. I can, Belek. I just... Open your eyes, boy! I've seen Templars put entire villages to the sword just for the chance of killing one assassin. Tell me, in your vast experience, what have you seen? I've seen the Grand Master of the Templar Order take in a frightened orphan and raise him as his own son. Greeting, citizen.
You summoned? Monsieur Dorian, we have a task for you. More fetch and carry work, I imagine. Two master assassins are dead, one by your own hand in defense of a Templar. Count yourself lucky this is the extent of your punishment. And Germain? is none of your concern. Last night, the Paris Commune declared itself an open insurrection against the King. As we speak, 20,000 armed revolutionaries are laying siege to the Tuileries. Even the National Guard are on the brink. Some of them have thrown in with the revolutionaries. France is splitting at the seams. And this doesn't please us. The people are fighting for what is owed them. Liberté, égalité. If we danced about on a simple scale in need of balancing, you'd be right. But the truth is more complicated. In putting Mirabeau's affairs in order, we've come across certain correspondences of a royal nature. Mirabeau's in contact with the king. And he was rather less discreet than he should have been. If the king's copies of these letters were made public, the Templars would be in a position to expose and purge our agents across France. And I'm to slip in and find them first. And quickly. The Swiss Guard are badly outnumbered. It's likely they'll be overwhelmed before nightfall. Won't be the first palace I've broken into. Ready? Aim! Good work. Back to your post. Honestly, the quality of rhetoric amongst bloodthirsty rivals these days.
You certainly don't look like a blood-crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. Serving as rear guard, are you? Convenient how that puts several locked doors between you and the fighting. Oh, I'm not here at all. Not officially, anyway. But how often does one find the opportunity to poke about in a king's private study? Looking for anything in particular? State secrets, private correspondences, personal treasures, that sort of thing. I do hope we're not eyeing the same prize. Name it. Certain letters written to the king, ripe for misunderstanding, should the wrong men find them. I see. Well, then perhaps we can help each other. I believe the king has built a hidden vault somewhere in here. If only we could find it. You were saying... Very nicely done, my friend. your prize a cornucopia yes and you believe so yes this is it that should take care of that and may I suggest we leave quickly what is that our way out cover me would you Almost done! Go. Search everything! I want those documents! Him! Damn! Yes, Captain Rui has that effect on people. Friend of yours? A persistent thorn I haven't quite managed to pluck out. He has information I need. I need to get back up there! In this mess, you'll never find him again. Come with me, I have a better idea. You handled yourself well back there. I don't suppose you've ever considered military service? I'm not much for following orders. Ah, 
The bane of generals and statesmen everywhere. An individualist. I know the feeling. Men like us have a great advantage over most in the army. You see, we can think for ourselves. If you joined up today, you'd be a marshal in ten years, guaranteed. A generous offer, but no. Where the heart leads, a man must follow. Look me up if you ever change your mind. Bonaparte is my name. Napoleon Bonaparte. Second lieutenant of artillery, for now. Arno Dorian. A pleasure. And as a personal favor, if anyone asks, I was never here. Watch the whole thing from a furniture shop across the carousel. Face in the crowd, of course. What now? Just a moment. You may want to take cover. Everything all right, sir? Fine, Corporal. Superb shot. Regular drills are critical to a regiment's success. We should be going, sir. We part ways here. What about Rui? Give me a few days. I'll see what I can learn of his current posting. Perhaps I can arrange an introduction. Be well. Come here! 
This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, Long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, Long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But. This is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Châtelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Try anything. I don't know what unit you serve with, but thank you. You can thank me by getting to the wars and stopping these killings. We must do
something's going what on. What do we do with the bodies? Nah, leave them. What are you waiting for? More traitors to deal with. Look at these posh bastards. Bet they weren't fed on bread and water. Hey, check. Bloody royal. Oh. Stop the bad. <laughs> Men. Cut them down! Protect the prisoners! Death to the traitors! Beat them back! Vive la Révolution! Steady! Enter the breach! I Hold that line! He's on the roof. Good lad. <laughs> Come on, boys. Upstairs. <laughs> Look, Warden. Your brother's here to visit. <laughs> but don't you want to see him? Come now, Warden. Let's have a cheer. Vive la Revolution! What's the matter? Not a fan of liberty, freedom, for you.
orders to remove us from this hall. You must also get authority to use force, for we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, but to minister is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? Berlin de Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Marie. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two.
What do you know about grain merchants? Good to see you too. Most of them are very poor just now, why? I have a lead on Germain. He has a woman named Marie buying up grain shipments and diverting them to a private dock. Marie Levesque? You know her. The Levesques have been Templars since the Third Crusade. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile, and I'm not surprised she's thrown in with him. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hôtel de Ville d'Ors. Promising. I'll start there. Perhaps I can learn something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. Chase a boat.
Stop right there! You're trying to mess it in my journey! You horse that... Heave to! Tie off the ball in! Captain! Any problems? No, madame. You have your orders? Here, madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leaks. Uh... Yes, madame. Get to work! You oh, I should throw him in a dungeon. I'll break those bloody legs. <laughs> oh.
Must be here about. But where? Palais Luxembourg. Hmm. And what are you up to there?
Splendide. Bonjour, monsieur, et bienvenue. Marie-Lévesque had men unloading the barges and taking the grain to the Palais du Luxembourg. If the people think the royal family has been hoarding food in a time of famine... Bedlam. Just the sort of thing Germain seems to thrive on. Madame Lévesque is yours. I'll find the stolen grain and try to get it out of there before anyone finds it. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Now pray, excuse me, I need to see to my husband.
Remember what I told you, Marie. Oui, Maman. Francois Thomas Sherman, for your crimes against the Templar Order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Boom. The man speaks to me. Now it's mine, De La Serre. De La Serre! Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur Le Peltier. Of course, Grandmaster. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. Oh, 
Ont-ils perdu l'esprit What? No time to explain! Run! Will we be taking a ride this evening, Professor? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my... <laughs>
They might actually be trying to hit me. What did you do back there? It's a long story. Next time, I plan the escape route. It's beautiful. From up here, you'd never know the nation is tearing itself apart. Can... Can things ever go back to the way they were before, do you think? Do you? After everything that's happened. Everything we've lost. So that's it then. The course of history forever altered. Never again to return. Maybe we can't go back. But going forward isn't necessarily an ending. Please. Cheated. You took too long. I love you. Had to dash. You looked so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Je t'aime. It is. Someone will come and collect it. Surely. Initiate, do you read me? I'm sorry about all this noise. There's a waterfall of signal distortion. It's not looking good. How about one more boost before I lose this connection? Sending you the data now. You're close to the goal, okay? So hold fast. Our own research couldn't locate the date and place of Germain's death, so you'll have to find it yourself. Bishop out.
Vérold va lui manger la cerveau. How are you? Oh, merci. Dieu vous le rendra. Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention for Le Peltier. He might have some insight. Ah, uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... De Sade. Mm -hmm. Le Peltier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Point delivery for the palace. Look it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head! Yes, Bonjour, Citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia.
This may come in handy. Or you don't know what. I've been doing this for 30 years, boy. I think I know what tainted wine. <laughs> Attending the execution tomorrow? Of course. Won't you? I I might give it a miss. Crowds, you know. Crowds. For <laughs> that, you've missed the defining. Waiter. Crowds. A bottle of your finest wine. You've missed the defining. I've been celebrating death. Death. David, give me a bottle of the Chateau D. Quickly. Now I know this. Just 
Go. Go and find your nurse and tell her to take you home. I'll be along soon. She will be The king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, can we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Pelletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view.
Joli coup
Paris. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way.
Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge. Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Kings, really a symbol. A symbol can inspire fear, and fear can inspire control, but men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the trial of church are ground to dust. Who you control the gold will decide the future. Is it Roger? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think you'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refused to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save. What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise!
What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen. Yes, but listen. Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideals or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. Master Trenet. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him. The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. Brasserie Garceau. Was that last night? enough trouble for one night. Fine. I'll procure my wine in some other fashion. Ha! 
You won't shake me! Got you! Christ, you will suffer! was last night. Maybe I left it there. Looks like someone got into a fight. Oh, Christ. Not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch. Have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with. Idiot. old man.
You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here. Where? The palace! The Red of Palace! Thank you. Bag it all, boys. We can fool informers with their coppers, eh, lads? What can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were worse.
God. Is that Mick? Looks like it. Just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. And Arno, no exploring. Hmm? Yes, Father. Where did he? Something's not right. Oh, no. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me? For not letting you die? I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake and to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Germain has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. 
The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. you've gotten us into now. Shut up in there! So, this is what France has come to. Parasites bleeding the revolution dry.
me the son of a white faced mule's gone done it. You go look. It's the watch thief. Well, well, well. This is no place for you. Come to help. The door? I don't want to die in here. Not a problem. We're all dead if you don't let us out. What's this then? I believe it's called a rescue. Why? Because being a thick-headed man-mountain while doing little enough for your long-term prospects is not actually a capital offense. Huh? Just stay back and let me go first. Next! <sighs> Let's go. I know you, boy. You want to find I doubt it. Wrap him in! Oh, huh? Shit! Shit. <laughs> Fired? But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres have simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you are a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. This parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide, guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Flight Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Now, Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites.
us again. It's not the best time, is it? I'm on it. Two seconds. Hey, we're close, Initiate. Arno and Germain had some kind of confrontation within the next few months, but we don't know where or how it ended. We're counting on you to find out. Got it. The portal's open. If all goes well, this is your last force migration. Yeah, and if it doesn't go so well, you could go into hippocampal shock and take your meals through an IV for the rest of your life. Let's not dwell on that, shall we? This might look familiar to you. We're back in medieval Paris, late 14th century. You're outside the city walls now. I suggest you find your way back. is falling apart. Find the exit fast.
You're nearly there. Okay, Initiate, let's finish this. You're almost home. Things have changed a great deal since you left Paris. A great deal to be set right. And we're no closer to finding Germain. That's not entirely true. I have a name. Who? Robespierre.
What's all this? Robespierre. He's declared today a festival of the supreme being. A peon to the virtue of the nation and the citizen's duty toward it. Why does that sound familiar? As far as Templar doctrine goes, it's a loose interpretation. We'll never get close to him in the middle of all this. We'd best retire and wait for a better opportunity. Still thinking like an assassin. This time, I have a thing. Oh? And what would that be? Think like a Templar. Amazing! Thought we were supposed to be rationalists. Vive Robespierre! Bravo! Vive la liberté! The supreme being ain't called for Robespierre. I'll eat my ass. Ridiculous pomp and circumstance. What now? Robespierre is unassailable. He's got half the guard out in force. We'll never get within ten yards of him. Just what I said. But he's not as popular as he was. The purges, the supreme being cult. If we can discredit him, he's finished. Massive public spectacle is the perfect venue. Exactly. Paint him as a dangerous lunatic and his power will evaporate like snow in April. But we'll need some convincing evidence. I have an idea where to start. You coming? Meet me after. I have my own arrangements to make. Publicist de la Révolution Française. The day after Marat died. Interesting, but not particularly helpful. Monsieur, as you have been the savior of the Republic, I beg you now to be my brother's savior as well. Even now he languishes in prison, arrested by patriots more zealous in their heroism than careful in their methods. No warrant for André's arrest was ever issued, and yet he remains imprisoned in Saint-Lazare under suspicion. I pray you do not recall my brother's writings in the Journal de Paris, coming as they did from an intemperate poet's heart. Rather, I beg you, if my own humble skills have been even the smallest of aid to our glorious revolution, spare my brother. In his writings, I see the burgeoning of France's greatest poet, a light that will shine for all time. Yours in patriotism, Marie-Joseph Chenier. That's no help at all. A letter. 
Monsieur Robespierre. Take care that you do not allow your personal ambitions to come before the great work. Maybe something a bit stronger. Looks like a diary. At exactly five in the morning, a general recall shall be sounded in Paris. This call shall invite every citizen, men and women alike, to immediately adorn their houses with the beloved colors of liberty, either... Interesting, but not particularly helpful. Merlin, Talien, Bourdon. These are all deputies of the National Convention. Lists of political figures written in the hand of a man fond of sending his rivals to the guillotine. Yes, you should do nicely. of names, 50 or so deputies of the National Convention, all written in Robespierre's hand and all opposed to him. I imagine those good gentlemen would be quite interested to know they're on that list. But first... Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Distract the guards, I have an idea. Distract the guards? Right. We must be generous to the good, compassionate toward the unfortunate, and yeah. we must be compassionate to the good. Poison 
of Elfie's. They can no more tear the whole from How did I get? Causes hallucinations. This will make him look mad. Now we have to make him look dangerous. The list of names. It must fall into the right hands, anonymously. If our involvement gets out, it'll tip Germain off. Leave that part to me. It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the Republic. To wisdom alone does it belong to consolidate the prosperity of Empire. It's for her. Being a list of enemies of the Revolution. Half a hundred names here. Robespierre's gone too far this time. That's at the fox in the hen house. Pity the hens. Now what? We wait. It won't take long. Once Robespierre has lost the support of the people, he'll be no more use to Germain. And when Germain abandons him... He's vulnerable. Let's go.
We may have gone too far in discrediting Robespierre. What's happened? He's been arrested. What? Apparently, he made vague threats about the purge against enemies of the state, and the committee turned on him. They're taking him to Luxembourg prison. He's scheduled for execution in the morning. Then we'd best get to him first. What the hell? These men were National Guard. Robespierre's escort. Damn, if we've lost him! Damn, if we've lost him! Let's not panic just yet. We might be able to find some sign of what happened. Elise! What happened here? We were ambushed. Troops from the Paris Commune attacked us en route. They were trying to free the prisoners. Did they take Robespierre? I'm not sure. The fighting left me behind. They fell back. That way. Merci. Go find yourself a doctor. Oh. If he's still in custody, they'll have taken oh. him to Luxembourg prison. But if not, they'll need to hole up somewhere nearby. They won't get very far with half the city turned out against Robespierre. I'll check the prison. You follow the riot, see if you can pick up a trail. Right. Where is Robespierre? They took him that way.
Thank God you made it, sir. The commune stands with you. Thank you, Sergeant. Your loyalty does you credit. Let's get inside, sir. The convention soldiers will be here soon. Yes, of course. I place myself in your capable hands. Actions protecting the criminal Robespierre is now in open rebellion against the nation. Soldiers under the command of the National Convention have been dispatched to apprehend the traitor Robespierre and his followers. Citizens are advised to remain in their homes while.
Engine attack. Didn't drink. Money revolutionary bastard!
damn him. I sent for Zemma hours ago. Zemma warned me about you. You're one of them, aren't you? An assassin. Not anymore. Where's Germain? Elise. We don't have much time. Where is Germain? I will never talk. Then right. The temple. We should have known. I hope you enjoy revolutionary justice, monsieur. We should split up. I'm not sure that's... Less chance we both get caught that way. I suppose that's true. We'll Roddy go inside. If you get a shot at Gemma, you take it. Germain's built himself quite a fortress. I can't see any weak spots.
What was that? So the prodigal assassin returns. Hen I suspected as much when Latouche stops it. The direct approach. <laughs> De la Serre as well. This is quite the reunion. Stay hidden. Keep him talking. Did you think this day would never come? That because Francois de la Serre had no sons to avenge him, that your crime would go unanswered? Revenge, is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide a vision was your grab you for think power? You yourself safe in your shadows. No, 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 you're smarter than that. This was never about power. It's always been about control. Did your father teach you nothing? Did your father teach you nothing? I have you now. Our order has become corrupt. So obsessed with clinging to the... Did you think this day would never come? That because Francois de la Serre had no sons to avenge him, that your crime would go unanswered? Revenge, is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide is it with your grab for power? Power? No, 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 you're smarter than that. Power? Don't be absurd. Sir, this was never about power. It's always been about control. 
Did your father teach you nothing? Skulk all you like. It makes no difference. Our order has become corrupt. So obsessed with clinging to the trappings of power, we abandoned our purpose. Caught in the very lie, we crafted to shepherd them. Caught in the very lie, we crafted to shepherd. Caught in the very lie, we crafted to shepherd the masses. I'll kill you! Have you heard nothing I've said? My design is larger than my own life. You cannot hide from me, boy. Through this revolution, a new order will be born. With a change men with gold and silver. I will fight you! I... I'm almost free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise! Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there, either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah. A particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. And I found this place. Dr. Malay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Malay. Had I been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot, and to wash the world clean and restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. 
profits are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and abasement forced me to reevaluate my strategy, find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Years we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would. To pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves.
don't believe what I'm seeing. I won this fight two centuries before it started. Well done, kid. Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are gonna be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear with this sage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arnold's memories for anything else you might have seen. Like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it. Paris, September 23rd, 1788. Dear Arno, I never thought I could be so bored in Paris. Can you imagine it? The greatest city in the world, and here I am, stuck in endless lectures from dawn to dusk. Dear Arno, I confess I'm not entirely sure what to say here. It was good to see you again. Somehow rings hollow. Oh, Arno. What have you done? I know we didn't part on the best of terms, but to go running to the assassins? Dearest Arno, I can barely conceive how much has changed in the last three years. How far our roads have taken us. Sometimes I feared our paths would diverge forever. My love, as I write this, you are asleep. If the light wakes you, I'll have some explaining to do, but at this moment, you are sleeping peacefully. Tomorrow is the day, it seems. The culmination of five long years, a moment of revenge. So why can I not quiet this part of me which fears that, at the tipping point, you will flinch? 
Is it that I fear you loved my father less than I? Or do I doubt your resolve to strike the killing blow? I do not think so. Rather, I fear that you have lost so much already, that you cannot bear to lose more. I think that you would let Germain rule France if you thought it would save me. Have you ever known me to need saving? Have you ever had cause to think that I would accept it if it were offered? My fate is my own. My choice is my own. If somehow we both return from this, I will burn this letter. If you are reading it now, then I made my choice there in the temple. Know that I made it gladly, and do not take the burden of it onto yourself. Be at peace, my love, and walk what path you will. All my love, Elise. My love. some kind of a glitch. Hang on. You! Not one more drop until your bill is paid! Jukan. He's with me. I thought you were guillotined. What a dreadful thing to say to your rescuer. Did you receive my message? If I do this, I want to leave France. I can procure you passage from Marseille on a ship to Egypt in four days. You have a clue as to the location of the manuscript? Condorcet knew he was being hunted. He disappeared for two days before his arrest. He left this behind. His manuscript must be in Louis IX's tomb. The royal crypt! Oh, I must warn you, monsieur. The ghosts of the kings wander the caverns. When they corner their hapless victim, they place upon his brow a crown made of knives, penetrating the eyes, which leak like grapes crushed in the harvest. Still, far less frightening than being crowned the next king of France. <laughs> Speaking of grapes, do your job. Yes, monsieur. Find the tomb. Marked with this crest and recover the lost manuscript. I'll meet you in three days' time. To your health, Arno. Something about this memory. It's locked us out of the Helix data. detour leads. Another DNA sequence, perhaps. Only one way to find out. The royal crypt must be under the basilica.
Let's reject. I didn't imagine. What the hell? Hiding Louis. Nothing. Hmm, nothing here. Hmm, nothing here. It's not here. nearby. Look at the map. There's nothing here. You've wasted my time with this fabrication. You call my honor into question? Your honor is a soldier. Don't make me laugh. You're free to break your contract. Then I'm also free. And I have savage tastes. I misspoke, Capitan. I heard there's a list of all the relics that were looted from the tomb. I can take you to them. Find alternative to the temple. That's not what I want. Look me in the eye when I'm speaking to you. Do you want what I want? Yes. Good. Then we're in agreement. Find the temple, and you just might make it back alive. Pleasure working with you.
hear something? Citizen must be stay back, ghosts. Pache. Makes no difference to you, does it? You're gone. Merci, monsieur. The map. Don Poirier's list of stolen relics in the Abbey Library. The map. Any script must be on it. Hidden entrance. Trace them all. The man is so good, he's employed by the National Monument Commission. I don't care who he was. I want those records. The new Raiders left us. Huh? 
What a queer fellow. Now you Poirier's list. It reads Condorcet Manuscript, located in the old red house, and then a name, Leon.
passera quelque chose d'important. Bonjour, does Leon live here? He ain't here. We haven't seen him for days. Leave us in peace. Has he been arrested again? Not that I know of. A lot of people would like to see his hands cut off. He's a vicious thief, that man. I need his help. He went out to the windmill yesterday. I've not seen him since. If in my name, Madame Margot. Merci. Please. Tell him to come home. Oh, <laughs> 
There's an intruder. Rose finally caught him. <laughs> Leon, I hear he killed two of our men. Drinking, I wonder.
one of us will die! You ever meet a noble, Leon? You ever heard a noble talk? Descended from God, they were. Threads of gold arc from between their blessed legs into holy chamber pots. <laughs> then, Leon. Fountains of rubies spilled from their necks and rained down upon all of France. Now, a man born deep within the lowest circle of hell can rise to the very top. Of Olympus itself. Unhand me, Connor! Is that what you want, little man? To rise up? I see it in you. Ambition. You're just like me. Rose. Commandant Bonaparte. Any progress to report? Only this. Find me the door that this key unlocks. And I shall reward you beyond your wildest dreams. What is behind the door? This is our petite trespasser. Who are you calling little? I'm nearly as Should... tall as... You need to learn a bit of diplomacy. Rose, I trust you'll show the boy to the surface. Of course, Commandant. Kill him. What? No! You do it! He's only a child! I have children of my own! The ghosts of the kings? So much for the element of surprise. You will not steal from me! Stay back, monster! I'm not a ghost. Madame Margot sent me. Madame Margot? You are trying to confuse me. Intruder! Stop you right there! Confused. Quickly, we have to hide. Not so fast. I'm looking for a manuscript. It was taken from a tomb under Saint Denis. I have it. It's in my fortress. We can get there later. How did you do all that? You're the best fighter I've ever seen. I wouldn't go that far. Where did you train? In Paris. Whoa. I practiced behind our house. I don't really have anyone to train with. All the freedom fighters are in Paris, like you. What about your mother? Madame Margot? She's not my mother. My mother is Morisco. She had to go back to Spain. That's why she had to leave me at the orphanage. I bet my parents will come back once France is safe. weapons. Just leave that to the professionals. Where did you get that? I stole it from two raiders yesterday. Hit it here. This is a fine gun. Yes, I know. I know what I'm doing. Which is? Saving France. Now that you're here, it's gonna be a lot easier. Listen. What? We have to get that manuscript first. 
to protect it from the enemies of France. Oh, all right. We need to get above ground. Work. Don't let it go to your head. than all the stories. That's because the stories aren't true. This way, I think. No one is important and quiet after our duties. There are rumors around town that the lackey of the sand is asking questions. I trust from the He's destitute. Why do you employ such a man as Rose to find the temple? He cares nothing for us or our aims. If I was in your place, I would not pander what to- What does a rat want? Food, of course. Ah. You appeal to their self-interest. But you have miscalculated. <laughs> your people are dead. I know. The human animal. What you fear, what you love. Is Rose a bad man? Undoubtedly. But I, Napoleon, can control him and turn him to what is best for France. The masses will gladly renounce their freedom if all can entertain the hope of rising to the top. The artifact inside the temple, I will bring them the illusion of hope. And I will lead us to glory. We have to stop him and save the people of France. Rescuing them only delays the inevitable. What's wrong with you? You're going to get yourself killed for nothing, little man. If you can't do it, then I can! Stop! Leon! Come back here! Where are you?
Give me the manuscript. Why? It has nothing to do with anything, does it? I'm leaving the country. That's my way out. What of the future? A free France where we all take care of each other. Why don't you grow up? Forget France. You're on your own. What happened to turn you into such a connard? You can't save them. They're never coming back. You are just like them. un voleur qui fuit les gardes.
Someone is looking for you. Who? The Marquis. Elise. Elise. Wait, Elise. Stop. Who are you? We only took a couple sous. Here. I've been looking for you, monsieur. Thank you for returning, Leon. Good luck with him. I once had a son. I'm sorry. No. He's alive. I left him. I began the orphanage afterward. Now that's love. Sometimes. Love is a prison. His father taught me that. This, the orphanage, this is my true calling. Leon tells me you could have been the savior of France. Children. Madame Margot. He's behind the orphanage. Little man, we have three days until my ship sails. So what? I'll get the artifact, then I'm gone. Fine, but how? Do you have a map to the temple in your coat? The list of relics. Painting in the cavern, I knew I'd seen those plates before. They're drawn here. This one is missing. <laughs> I'm being serious. Well, see. Meet me upstairs once you find the other two. Oui, monsieur. Kids.
C'est une affaire pour la gare. Mais sans tarder. You can't outrun me. On a l'air de tourner à l'orage. You're a joke, Cougar! Where did he... Encore un disciple de Cagliostro chassant les démons. Il se passe quelque chose. Now? Ongar! 
Ah, a chakram from India. What a sly thief. I've commandeered the other two. So, what happens now? I don't know, you tell me. A little light in the darkness. Go away! Busy! Wait. Look. It's a map of the caverns! I'll find out where it leads. You stay here. Merde, Leon! An expert lockpick! Go on. Choose one. The Commandant told us to wait. Anyone else prefer to wait?
The map on the plates is made out of light.
There, the lock. Now for the golden key. Do business with extortionists. Get away! Did you find the lock? Yes. Now I need the key. You know the soldier carrying this chest for the little commandant? I just saw him in the market. I see. And I told you to stay here, remember? Oui, monsieur.
There you are. Now lead me to the golden key. Alert me if you see anything unusual. Yes, sir. Honnêtes se tiennent ainsi. Es-tu en danger, citoyen
you have for me this time? Silver. Nearly enough to fill a chest. Give it to me. The Commandant still suspects nothing. He is occupied in Paris. Your usual fee. Plus, a promotion. Très bon. A pleasure doing business with you. Where are you going? I want to play too. I've got a great game where I rip your bloody head off. You will do no such thing. Tell me the location of the chest containing the golden key, or I shall reveal your thievery. I am merely seeking a harmless profit. Like a rat hungry for apples. How did you know? Surely the Commandant will find the comparison enlightening. The chest is under guard within the caverns. Here. Merci. Now get out of my sight. There's no point throwing my life away now, is there? Spineless sheep! A flea shot, I will! Skin and all!
security for a key. What lies behind that door?
must not be. I take your heart and your treasure. <laughs>
now for that artifact. Allow me. What skill stealing the key? <sighs> Much obliged. Should I notify the commander? <laughs> Tell him that I resign. What now? Not your way. Leon, how did you find me? I know what I'm doing. All of France is counting on you. Little man, thank you. Now get out of sight, I mean it. Why? It's time to find out what's inside that temple. He shall fall, for I am an assassin. Build this place. I see you back here, Michael. You have seen your head on one man. Devil, do I get it? Open, damn you! The artifact will get never be yours. Stay still! Where is it? 
I've commandeered the artillery required to break this siege. Steal the artifact, and your reward shall be far greater than anything Commandant Bonaparte has offered. Where do I deliver it? To the Lady Eve. France. And we shall see why they're after you. must never have it.
Ah, uh, dear Arno. Our hopes as to the future condition of the human species may be reduced to three points. Napoleon Bonaparte, you are under arrest for treason and deserting your post. The destruction of inequality between different nations. The progress of equality in one and the same nation. Final passengers! This must reach Al Mualim in Cairo. Ha! And lastly, a real improvement of man. 